All right, let's start it up. It is the end of day one of the Chavez Cup, and it's almost time to introduce our finalists. Day one is all about earning that spot in the grand finale, and I thought we'd quickly review how you get there. While this may look a little complex, there's a simple core idea at play here. If you top four twice, you're in. If you bottom four twice, you're out. We started day one with 16 competitors and randomly sorted them into two groups of eight to form deployment round one and deployment round two. The top floor of each of those deployment rounds would make it to winner's round, and the top floor of winner's round already had a spot in the finale. The bottom four of each of those deployment rounds would come together to form loser's round one, where the bottom four of that would sadly end their day. The top four of losers round one and the bottom four of winners round would form the last round of day one, losers round two. It's do or die time as the top four of losers round two is going to earn their finale spot and the bottom four will not qualify. Since the C-Bank is a game with one winner and seven losers, the Chavez Cup is using this point system to score games. If you get a match win, you are the agent to see the victory screen, you will be awarded four points. If you're the first agent to the package, you can gain two points. For each elimination, you'll get one point. Completing a terminal will award you one point, and entering the vault will earn you a single point. There is one last way to earn points, where if phase three ends with a draw, it times out um, then all agents that are still alive without the package will be awarded two points. This is to convince the agent with the package to attempt victory um, or face everyone else gaining points. Not all rounds were created equal. The deployment rounds were three games, winner's round and loser's round one were four, and the do or die loser's round two were a full five games. And without further ado, let's introduce the Chavez Cup finalists. Starting off in 8th place, Mentally Insane started the day in deployment round 2, missing a top 4 finish by just 1 point. They came back in losers round 1, claiming 2nd place in the round, and found their first game win of the day. They struggled a bit in losers round 2, and found a 4th place tie on points, with tiebreakers pushing them into the finale and a day 2 showing. They will have a long road ahead of them in the finales, starting with 0 bonus points. Insane who's doing the fight! All 4 oh players goodness. are here! Someone's probably gonna win the match here. Another one goes down, Goose is in it to win it, Goose just has to follow this trail! That's all Goose has to do, but they TP too far away. Goose just needs to hit two or three, well, one or two bullets. Will they find it? They miss it. Oh, Goose. They missed it. No. In seventh, Goose Who Games really felt the pressure to start the day in deployment round two. Their single point earning, earning them a seventh for that round. They grabbed a fourth place in the do or die losers round one to keep their finals dream alive, but they proved they really deserve to be here in losers round two, almost doubling their score from previous rounds and grabbing a commanding third to secure their final spots. Well, also starting with zero bonus points, we have seen continuous improvement from this agent and they may prove a force to be reckoned with. There's no one else to be seen yeah, around, so no third party we're done. Who's just gonna jump onto self? Goose is going to jump onto Soph. Surely, yes, Goose has seen it. Is going to get the initiative onto Soph. Soph needs one good shot. Soph, uh, sorry, Goose knows that's what Soph needed. And Soph oh goes God. down. In six, Gitzo Larson found themselves in a three-way tie for sixth place in deployment round one. Not quite where you'd like to start your tournament hopes, but it proved to be a wake-up call as in losers round one, they cinched three of the four potential game wins and a commanding first place, 18 points higher than the next agent. They did find some competition in losers round two while grabbing the package off the podium in every game except one. They didn't manage to secure a game win, but did find themselves with enough points to secure a second place in the round. Our final finalist, starting with zero bonus points, has shown themselves to be up to the challenge. Against Lawson, although Lawson is just having to run. This is going to come down to the wire here. Gets to the jump using the case and a perfect throw. 
and in fifth, Irish Asian Gal 99. They really came to play in deployment round one, grabbing a second place on the back of some consistent play and a game win. They really struggled in winner's round, however, finding only two points in a tragic eighth place pushed them to loser's round two. They surged back, however, grabbing the only three game wins, all other games ended in a draw in that round, secured 33 points and a first place, a full 13 points ahead of second. With one bonus point to their name, this agent has shown to be able to get points when it matters most. Like so for who will win this gunfight? Nagu comes down, oh, Orin can barely good. move, and Irish wins it! I don't Irish know if they're going to have enough time. Yeah, not my this might be a great opportunity for Lost to come in. Sitter will get the two extra points for taking the case, but is now running from that shotgun that is from the ace. Starting in fourth, Rick Lawman led the pack in deployment round two with a huge 13 point opening game, but couldn't quite hold the lead and fell to second by a single point. They continued to perform in winner's round and was able to secure a tie for third, securing their spot in the finals. Despite starting with only two bonus points, this agent has shown themselves to be capable of massive point games. Probably wins this. Does just about win it. For the last vault terminal to be done now. Rickland, they're going to be taking a fight with Biscuits now. And instantly wins it. All Sock knows exactly where he is. Rick's going to hear this. Hits some shots. Who's going to hit more though? Socks on 7 Dang. HP, Rick's gonna win it, he's on 70, surely he wins this. One bullet is all he needs, maybe a guard will do some damage too. And that will be it. Starting in third, we have Arrenji Man, potentially the most consistent agent we saw day one, securing a tie for third with 11 points in deployment round one, and a tie for third with 11 points in winner's round. Consistency may just be the key to victory for this agent, and studying with three bonus points is a heck of a launching pad. Doesn't have an ability, though. Doesn't have an ability, but hasn't been shot either. They're just dancing around the lasers. They are dancing. Who's going to hit the most shots? Orange, no. takes it. He definitely knows who Orin is. Orange's too far around the corner for Rick to shoot there, but nice in the open there. And that is a oh. good shot from Orin there. A oh. beautiful double tap there. Yeah. Orangey. Oh yeah, they're right next to each other. Orangey oh. gets the first shot. Does oh, get the hit as well. Oh no, that's going to be all that they wrote for Omar. In second place, anti came out of the gate swinging, claiming a gain win and a first in the round in deployment round one. A similar story in winner's round. Game, a game win and a second place in the round. We are expecting big things from this agent in the finals, having shown they are more than capable of to perform at the top level, and four bonus points is a great place to start. Yeah, they don't get the cage off onto the Larson, but they're playing very aggressive and they get the kill! Five people remain in this match, although another fight is about to break out. Auntie Vera getting the cage off, can't Ooh. hit the follow-up shots, but they can't TP anywhere! Ooh, All three of them are going to be fighting on the objective! Daiki gets the kill onto Rick, Avera takes the fight with Daiki! Who's gonna win this? It seems like Avera has the most health, just based on what we see. Avera cannot get off the objective, Daiki has to live, and Daiki goes down! And starting in first, Giant Key, our top place finalist grabbed the very first game win of the tournament and <laughs> proved out of the gate they came to win. While not able to hold that lead in deployment round one, they tied for third to grab a spot in winner's round. They continued to perform in winner's round, giving two game wins and the top spot three points over the next agent. With more game wins than any other agent going 2-0, this agent has shown they are able to get that victory scheme time and time again. They've been awarded five bonus points for their performance and are unlikely to slow down in the finals. Orangey and Giant Key are going to be taking a fight now. Arn didn't seem like he hit that shot. He's going to be running for his life. Giant Key is going to be probably get this kill here. There it is. Giant Key isn't on much health. Both managing to eat so much food. What is happening? Giant Key is dancing around these shots at this point. Someone please win the game. Giant Key seems like he's going to do it. Oh, and no. he does. 